Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce the new straight staircase extension which is available for download on the Tecla warehouse. Once it's installed it will appear here in your applications and components catalog. And I'll just go ahead and double click to activate this command and zoom in here. And you'll begin to notice that this is quite a bit different than our current stair tools that we already have. So this one uses a combination of direct modification as well as the new straight staircase side pane which you can see there on the right hand side. You'll also notice some values here within the model that are illuminated that you can use to lay out your stair. So to begin I'll just go ahead and pick my first point which will indicate the start of my stair. And now as I hover around you can see that the next point that I pick will indicate the direction of the stair. So I'll just go ahead and do that just to put in a stair here to begin with. And then we can take a look at what's happening. So you'll notice here under the general section we have this formula type which will allow you to insert specific information that you have to control the layout of the stair. So here using the LHN formula type we've chosen to define the length of the stair, the height of the stair, and the number of steps. We also have the ability to define the angle of the stair and then the tread rise and run values as well. If you hit the drop down you can choose the option that you want to use to control this information. You can use the property pane to modify these values. So for example here if I wanted to change the length of the stair I can key in a value that's here. Or I can easily come in and just use direct modification and change this in the model. So more what you see is what you get type of environment. Like all direct modification, I can also just click and drag these handles and drag that to where I want it to be and all of the other values adjust accordingly. If I want to change the formula type to something else, I can just hit the drop down, choose the option that I want, and then I can begin modifying this information. Now you'll see here, once I change the formula type, these new values are the primary values that will control the layout of my stair. All of the other values will be calculated, but these visible values are the ones that will control the layout. So let's say we want to change the height of the stair. Let's go ahead and change this, for example, to 7 feet. And I'll zoom out a little so that we can see that. And then we can also come in and we can change my rise and my run value. So you'll see here this T value is the value from nosing to nosing in the horizontal direction. My R value is from nosing to nosing in the vertical direction. So let's go ahead and change this, for example, to be 11. And then I can set this R value to be 7, for example. We'll just go ahead and make that change. And you'll notice here this R value is a maximum value, so it will never exceed the value that's placed there. But depending upon the length and the height that you define, this value may be smaller to accommodate for that while also holding your T value. So it's doing a lot of the math in the background with the intent to make it easier for you to lay out the stair. So now that we've made those changes, let's go ahead and go back to the initial option that we were using. And you can see that this length value has changed based upon those parameters. So all of these values are being calculated using the formula type we're able to define the primary values that we want to control the stair layout. One of the other really nice things that I like about the stair is that if you want to modify things you can just simply click on it there within the model. Or if you prefer the corresponding drop downs are here on the right hand side where you can come in and control this information. But let's take a look at how this works. So if I want to modify the top landing I can come in and click on this here and you can see that it will collapse everything except for this specific category. If I want to add a dog leg, for example, I can do that here. So let's just punch in 36 inches here. And then let's say we want to make this other one 2 feet. Then I can key in that value. And the thing that I really like about this is the dimensions stay there on screen, giving me instant model feedback, letting me know that my stair design is what I intended. If we want to control the offset value here from the tread to the top of the stair, you can put in a value here and it will just bump that up and you can visually see that dimension. Same idea down here for the bottom landing. If I come in and click on this and I want a dog leg here, for example, let's go ahead and put in some quick values here. I can do that. I can also come over here to the side pane and control the landing direction. So right now it's set to horizontal. I can change that to vertical and point these down just as you would expect. So going in order here, the next thing, if I wanted to come in and change my stringers, I can use this drop down in the side pane, or I can just simply click on the stringers here within the model, and I can see the values that I can control. 
If I want to change the rotation of my stringers, I can do that here. If I want to change how the width of my stair is calculated, I can do that here. If I want to remove my left or my right stringer, I can easily do that. I can define my profile, grade of material, part and assembly start numbers and prefixes, name of the stair, class, and finish. You'll also notice here, as that's illuminated, there's certain things that I can control using direct modification in the model. So if I want to change the width of the stair, I can just simply key in a value and make the change. Now if there are changes to my steps, I can just click on those and begin modifying that. So you can see, again, that there's things that I can change in the property pane, but also change using the direct modification in the model. So right now, for my step, I'm just using a simple contour plate. I have the ability to bring in custom components or items, which we'll look at a little bit later. I have the ability to remove the first and the last step, and then, of course, change the basic properties as you would expect. Now, if I want to change the thickness of this contour plate, I can just click on that dimension in the model and make the change. I can change the width of my tread to be 7 inches, for example, and I can also change the length. If I want to change the nosing, I can go back to the stringer here and put in a value here to offset this tread from the stringer. And now I can see that I have that offset value. So it's a real nice what you see is what you get. Just click on whatever you want to be able to change. So one last thing that we'll take a look at are the connections. So if you want to modify the connections, you can just click on this connect text in the model or just expand this drop down here in the side pane. And then you have the option to use just basic brackets that are being pulled in here. Or you can come in and choose a connection type from the Applications and Components catalog. But I'll just go ahead and leave this as it is for the time being.